Have you ever felt like no matter how hard you try, things just aren't going your way? Maybe you really want something, like a cool job or to win the lottery, but it's like hitting a wall every time you try. I totally get it. I've been there too, feeling super frustrated. But you know what? There's a secret alchemy that can turn things around for you. Hey everyone, it's Gabby here. Make sure to subscribe and comment with your stories. I love hearing from you. Also, be sure to watch this video till the end because I'm going to share with you my personal and secret technique on how I go about feelings. So a few years ago, I stumbled upon Neville Goddard's work. And honestly, since then, his ideas have resonated so much with me. You see, from a young age, I always had this feeling that there was something special about feelings. You know, like when you hear a certain song or smell a familiar scent and it brings back memories flooding in. Each memory gives us a unique feeling, almost like each feeling is its own old CD, ready to play whenever we remember something special. So when I came across Neville's work, it was like a light bulb went off in my head. He talked about how feeling is this incredible force that can shape our lives in amazing ways. And you know what? I actually totally agree with this guy. Neville said something really interesting. He talked about how we can't just think about something and expect it to happen. We have to feel it deep down inside us. It's like when you really, really want something and you can almost taste it because you want it so much. That feeling, that's what Neville said, is the key to making our dreams come true. I want to take you on a journey. For some reason, this memory always stays with me and I always look back at it. When I was a teen, it happened during one of my loneliest times ever. I was thinking about how lonely I was and how I had no money, but my wish wasn't really for money. It happened so suddenly, I heard a knock on my door and there was my father giving me some pocket money and we had one of the best chats. It might be minimal, however, I think back then, I was really in need to just talk to someone. And something clicked, because I felt it was exactly what I needed, as if the universe did this for me, made it happen, and then made itself aware of it to me. I feel like that was a pure example of manifestation using feelings, and I always for some reason look back at it as maybe proof in my personal journey. Hope my little story is not too cringe. So how does feeling really work in all of this? I actually have my own hypothesis that I'm really excited to share with you a bit later. Okay, so picture this, you can use a regular bike to get somewhere and it'll still work, right? But let's say you improve it and add electricity to it. It becomes an e-beak. Suddenly it's way more powerful and can get you to your destination much faster, right? Now think of feelings the same way. When you're meditating, praying, or doing something similar, and you add in a specific feeling to the mix, it's like adding fuel to your journey and propelling you toward achieving your dreams faster. Now on to my interesting theory, which I actually was able to manifest with. This might be a bit tricky to explain, so I hope I'm doing it justice. Earlier, I mentioned different feelings, but what if we take this a step deeper? Here's what I usually do. I calm my mind, get into a meditative state, and then focus on memories that relate to my goal. Let's say it's getting a new job. Each memory has a different feeling for me, and each time period has a distinguished feeling too. So I go through my memories and find one that's kind of appropriate to this new goal. For example, I remember how nervous, happy, and excited I was when I first applied to a normal financial representative job at a small branch. I did get the job and the experience was amazing. Definitely left a distinguished feeling, a certain aroma, if you will. So what I do is I focus on those memories, how nervous I was, the way I was thinking in that job, the joy I felt. Then I shift my focus to my new goal, my new job. But here's the thing. I try to bring in that same feeling from those memories, giving my new goal more meaning. It's like showing the universe, hey, this is how I want to feel with this new job. I hope that the explanation was easy to follow. Think of it this way, you had all of these experiences and feelings. You can choose to tune into the frequency you want, especially the good ones. Maybe you can use them again to attract things back into your life, so by adding true feelings to it will help achieve your goals faster. I honestly had major success with this, and I will be making detailed videos in the future about what I did exactly to achieve separate goals. I really think feeling is the secret ingredient left out that needs to be discussed more. I think there is a huge deal we don't yet know, but we're just starting to uncover its secrets. I really hope you liked this video. If you found this helpful, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more content, and share it with anyone who needs a positive shift in their life. Thanks again. Until next time, keep dreaming, keep visualizing, and keep manifesting.